Here we've just got to determine if this is linear or no. Some of these may take longer than others, but once we find that the rate is different, then we don't have to worry about the rest of them, all right? So on these ones, we're just looking at the sloppage. We need the sloppage or the rate of change to be the same each time. So from 10 to negative 14, it went down 4. So we got a negative 4 over from 4 to 6, and we added 2, right? So we need all of these to be equal. So from 14, negative 14 to negative 18 is down 4. And then from 6 to 8 is added 2. So these are all equivalent. Now if they're simplified or even scaled up, it wouldn't matter as long as they are equivalent. So on the next one, right account, negative 18 to negative 22 is down 4. 8 to 10 is adding 2. So these are actually just all the same each time. But ultimately, their values are each negative 2. So this one is linear. And the rate of change for this, well, it's that negative 2.